Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. So this is gonna be part five. Uh, in the previous part, we actually displayed some text and some characters on the screen. Uh, actually, one character on the screen. Um, in this video, I'm gonna cover how we can create a game map and then render sprites based on the game map, right? So the game map, as I said, is gonna be like a square block uh, with walls in it um, and then the player can move around the the whole map and then once player exits out of a door um, player wins the game like because this is going to be a very simple game you can add levels to it but i'm just gonna go over some basic uh, details about it now uh, the way i'm gonna represent map is to is gonna be a 2d character array so we are gonna create characters of like let's say um, some some equal or some dollar sign which we can equate to wall um player could be an adder rate and then key would be any other letter so yeah so this is the simplest we can uh, go about it so let's not waste any time and get on to it um so let me create a, a file i'm creating everything at the root level so that it's easy to follow along uh, but you guys can create separate folders for it so i'm going to create a json file uh, which will have my map um, and then we are going to verify our json as well because i do make a lot of mistakes um, creating wrong or invalid json but right now we are i'm going to create a json um, json works like as a key value thing so our key would be a layout uh, and then our uh, map would be let's say character or uh, maybe maybe 12 by um, 12 by 11 so let's say i give equal to sign 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 similarly I create equal to and then I can have a space at the rate and then yeah this is our map we can just copy this line so this is gonna be three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and because the last one has to be a close uh, loop so this is going to be our thing we can remove at the rate from here because there is going to be only one player on the screen right um, and then um, this is our door and then we can have a key with the letter i we can map it to the uh, and then we can have a player here as at the rate okay so this is going to be our map and i'm going to give more uh rules to it like doors uh what i'm gonna map is like if if you go to the door one um the door one is going to be like have some settings so it could have is and like we can use this key as to exit and make the user win the game so this is gonna be a json let's verify it because um otherwise we'll get some errors json formatter online okay so let's do this validate okay so it shows error on this line i guess uh, line 14 oh okay i think this is the error think it works now. format and beautiful okay so I think it works now we can just have it here and we can save it now we can go back to our main.js file 
um, as I said that this is gonna be our main scene so we need to create one more scene which is could be our game scene um, and, and similarly we'll have a uh, end scene right that our game has ended when the player collects it so in the game scene the way we can call it is we, we also need that the player should press the key and then the player should be able to go to the uh, game scene so the way it works is uh, kaboom game engine provides a key press method it basically checks it takes a string space and it maps when you press space right and then you can just do go game and it will take you to the game screen uh, that's all so once this is done we can actually get rid of it we are not getting any errors that's good um let's go to the game scene um here we will load our map um, we can actually do a load on the first time the game gets load so game data should be uh, we require uh, our file as game underscore map dot json okay now we can have um, const room so we get one room actually rooms but you can add more maps to it but right now we only have one room json.pass json game data uh, yeah so this gives us a room let's take the total length or no it's not fine because you know it's one room um, and then const uh, room details we know that there is only one room so we get that detail now the way the way we can do or mapping like one way would be just do a for loop and match with, with this character and then replace it with that sprite um, the best way would be uh, this game engine provides us a way to provide a configuration so the configuration would be that this character maps to this sprite and then automatically it renders um, the character with the sprite of once it comes across the layout um, 2d array so before that we also missed one more part we need to load our um, sprites so we need to load a uh, wall with our uh, wall 2 png actually we can do wall 1 also but uh, wall 2 is uh, more uh, you can say better in looks i actually downloaded it online uh, when i was building my game um, so it's, it's pretty good uh, pixel graphics um, we can say for now we can just say door we just need door in our case um, uh, open door yeah open door um, other than that I think once we have done this the loading part is done we can actually now move on to our config so the way we are gonna uh, this is on map characters of the room layout into the sprites so this is going to be const room config room details dot layout of zero dot land height So equal sign will be our wall and then uh, we need to give this method solid so what solid does is uh, player won't be able to pass it so as soon as a uh, player is a solid uh, character and then wall is a solid so as soon as they come across e each other the collision will we would be able to detect collision and they won't be able to cross each other if you don't give this solid then the 
we can easily pass that pixel graph it's just there uh, for the namesake and then also we need to give a key uh, but yet this key is not used right now because um, this will be used if we were trying to figure out collision so sprite player um, and then we give the key player and similarly we create our character i so we had um, i uh, at the rate um, one and then okay what else we have uh, yeah i think that's it so um, so we need to to create this and then i is gonna be sprite sprite item or we can say item we we, we are gonna use key here uh, we need to load that as well load sprite um, item item dot png okay uh, sprite item solid item uh, for the doors because currently we only have one door we can actually do the mapping here itself um, sprite um, um, door and solid as well and then door else if we were having many doors the best would be we just do a for loop over it and then create uh, the door so now what we can do here is I I think this room config part is done. So now once the room, room, room config is done, the way we do mapping for the game engine to know that, okay, map these characters to these sprites and load it in the layout which we have is using, um, we have the room details dot layout, right? Because you know, saw that room details is basically this whole room as an array and then doing dot layout will give us this 2d map so we get room details dot layout and then we do room config um, once we do that um, i think we should see uh, fail to load not found door okay so, so let's see what happened here open door dot png sorry uh, my bad okay so we do press okay awesome so i'll reload the game so we see the first screen as space this is our main screen when we press space because we had added that functionality we see that um, our 2d map is now being rendered here with player in the middle we have a door here key and the walls so this is for this part five um, in part six we are going to see how we can move the player and then end the game and then after that the last part would be how we can deploy this game uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please like this video and subscribe to my channel um, thanks everyone